Hey guys, how's it going? Night Owl here. Welcome back to the Hoot Crew. If you guys are not part of that Hoot Crew, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. Please make sure to hit the bell and you will never miss another one of my videos. Today is just going to be an update video. I basically just wanted to update you guys on a few things that are going on uh, and that I have been going on and I kind of haven't really talked about them. So this is what we're going to do. So the first thing that I have to mention is my Disney trivia giveaways. I'm kind of, I'm not changing what I do, but I just wanted to explain a little bit better so people understand what's going on, but I am changing the way that I do the point thing. Now, uh, the Disney trivia giveaways are every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, which is about, um, I guess, I don't know, it's about uh, 5 o'clock is it five o'clock or six o'clock UK time? And then uh, you could probably check out your own time by then. Uh, watch my Instagram, watch my Twitter. I will be posting a little bit more regarding those giveaways um, because I want, you know, I want more people to come in. You know, we've had about, uh, the most I had in there is about 15, 20 people, but I'd like to get more because I'd like to get more giveaways going and stuff like that. Now, um, as for that, if it is a Disney trivia giveaway week, please make sure that you guys are there within the first 20 minutes of the start of my live. Otherwise, I won't be able to count your answers for points. Um, I kind of messed things up the one time where I'm like, people kept leaving and I said, okay, donate your points and this and that. I don't mind doing that if it's a regular trivia, but when it comes to the giveaway, a giveaway I want it to be fair to everyone. So you must be there at the trivia for uh the for in the first 20 minutes but you also must stay for the whole thing. Um and the way I do it is I'll ask a question. Please wait until I'm finished asking the question to give people with lag uh a chance to hear the question. The first one in with the answer gets the point. First one to 20 points for just for the Disney trivia giveaways um is the winner. But I also give your channel a screenshotted shout out in the next video for the next day so that everybody knows who you are. And I put your link in my description. That way people know who to follow. They'll go check out your channel and hopefully support your channel. Um, so, um, yeah, and there's no Googling. So please no Googling the answers. Uh, Disney is a well-known thing. 90% of the population knows Disney. Um, I know there's a lot of people who don't watch a lot of Disney, especially when you don't have kids and stuff like that. But if you have nieces and nephews, you know, you watch it all the time. Or if you're just a Disney lover, you know. So I hope to see you all there. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is I have been collecting recipes for the last, like, I don't know how long. I do have a website that I've been posting, like a blog that I've been posting videos on. I kind of stopped after a while because... I wasn't getting any action on it. So what I'm thinking of doing, and please let me know in the comments below what you think of the idea, is every so often I'm going to be cooking one of the recipes. I have about six or was I, I think about eight books now full of recipes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start um, every week. I'm going to be posting something or maybe once or twice a month. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. But I will be posting videos of the recipes, what you'll need for it and everything else. Um, so, you know, if you guys think that's a good idea, please let me know. Because I've had a lot of people tell me that, you know, that would be great. You should do that to add to more of the variety for my channel. Um, so, yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you think of me cooking and doing recipes. Um, now, I also wanted to talk about how I support my supporters or people that I've clicked the subscribe button to and stuff like that. Um, what I usually do is I go to the very top of my subscribers list, list, which is that little button right in the middle of all the buttons in the very bottom of your, your screen. And I click on that and I go down and I watch one or two videos of each and every person from A to Z. Um, and then I go back over it again. Um, if you watch my Twitter, you'll see that I post every video I watch. I put in there, check out this awesome video on YouTube or check out this awesome new video on YouTube is what I usually put. Um, 
I have playlists for gamers and stuff like that. All sorts of people for playlists that you can check out on my channel as well. So um, that's how I do it. So please don't think that I'm ignoring you or that I'm not watching your videos. I am watching your videos. It's just it takes a, a bit to go through everybody. But I want you to know I'm definitely supporting as many people as I can. I try to make it to as many lives as I can. Um, the hard part for me is I have kids, so it takes up a lot of my time and I can't go on 20, 30 lives a day. I got, uh, one day I got about five notification of people that went live at once and I'm like, okay, how do I do this? I only have two devices that I can go live, like go into chats on. And I'm like, how do I go into both of these lives, you know, and talk to everybody so I try and do that once in a while, so don't get me wrong. I am definitely trying, so just be patient with me. I'll get to you. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I am definitely support all the people I support, you know, and I go into lives, I check people out, I do make my presence known, and everybody's awesome. I just try and support everybody as the best I can. Um, so the next thing I want to talk to you about is... Um, I need more trivia ideas. I do have a list. I don't know where I put my little book here. I have a little book that I write down all my ideas in for trivias. Um, I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, but if you have any new ideas of trivias that I haven't done yet, that you might be interested in trying out or asking questions that you think you know a lot about and everything else, Put it in um, the comments below. Let me know. Or you can even message me on Instagram. The Night Owl 258 is my Instagram. So check that out. And you guys can um, go on there and we can see what we can do about getting it. Now I do have a lot coming up. Uh, next week's trivia on Wednesday is the game show trivia. Um, so yeah, that was suggested by someone... Um, the week after that, let's just do it, do it quickly here while I've got my book out. Um, the week after the game show trivia is car trivia. So it's actually going back to the, the 1930s and stuff. All sorts of different car, cars. Uh, most of it is multiple choice. So it should be fairly easy for people to do. Um, now, on the 22nd of this month in May will be the Disney trivia giveaway. So make sure that you're there for that as well. Um, now I haven't decided also, I want to talk to you about the book that I read right now on my channel. I am reading a book called boundaries. Um, I post a video every Sunday of that, just reading it and talking to you about it and offering suggestions or asking questions to you guys that you might be able to help me with. Cause I need to set some boundaries in this house. I'll tell you. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to be doing after that yet because I just started it. So bear with me. Um, I'll get a new title to you as soon as I can. I do have a book that someone's asked me to read. It's called, I think it's a thousand and one questions that people ask about the Bible and the answers. Now, I'm not saying the answers in that book uh, relate to what I think. I'm just going to read the book. And I can give you my opinion on each question or ask a couple of questions. And, you know, we'll see where it goes from there. Um, now, the other thing that I wanted to do was um, I have a major giveaway coming that I'm going to be doing. It has nothing to do with trivia or anything else. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I have uh, my friend Tracy does a lot of vinyl and she's been making these t-shirts right here. I got one that she made me to wear. It's this one here. These are color your own t-shirts. Um, and she makes a lot of vinyl bags. She makes a lot of vinyl artwork, um, on wood that she makes. Like you see the signs that say, uh, my favorite blessings call me grandma. And then, you know, you have all the kids names and stuff like that on it. She does a lot of stuff like that. So she started to make these t-shirts and I thought, you know what? I have a lot of families. I do a lot of family channel type stuff. What I'm going to do is I have a t-shirt made already for, I think I'll tell you the size when I get it going up. Um, I have a LOL bag made. I'm going to buy an LOL doll in the ball 
and I'm going to pick up a couple other things lol related I'm going to put them in that bag and I will be doing a giveaway for that now the way I'm going to be doing it is I'm going to pick a channel that I've been supporting for a very long time who's been very supportive of me who needs the uh, subscriber subscribers um so what I'm going to be doing is I will have you make a comment on their channel um and um what I'll do is I'll use a random comment picker and we'll pick the winner from there. You'll have to be following me on Instagram and um or Twitter. Uh, that way I can get your address from you and then I can mail you your prize. Now, for this draw, I'm going to be doing a special live. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that live, but uh, you must be present for in the video for the drawing. Uh, you have to make the comment on the video um, and... Um, stuff like that like you have to be there you have to be part of the live and everything else so um i will update you more on that once i get everything put together in this bag to show you exactly what i'll be giving away um another update that i have too i wanted to talk to you about my daughter i have not found hers yet i did find someone with her name on facebook i have messaged that person all i did say was i've been looking for my daughter blah 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 blah, blah. And, you know, you might be her. I was just wondering, you know, were you born on this day? August 24th, 1992. And we'll see where it goes from there. She has not answered me yet. So maybe she's still kind of processing the whole thing right now. I don't know. But um, keep that in your prayers, guys, that, you know, maybe one day she will contact me. Um, and we'll see where it goes from there. Um, so that's about it. Um, the, other, the only other thing I wanted to mention, usually, um, I, um, have the scenery downstairs. I, I realize I've been up here a lot. It's been a rough month for me physically because I do suffer from a lot of things. I'm not going to go into detail, but, um, I've had to kind of stay upstairs. It's just a little bit easier for me. However, um, my son, Sean just moved out. Uh, he's my 21 year old and uh, he moved in with his buddy. Um, I think it was about time. He's, you know, he needs to, you know, spread his wings, go have some fun, you know, learn how it is to live on his own. Um, so in the wake of that, um, my son Austin will be moving into his room in the basement and then I'll be moving my room and whatever. This room will become my new office um, so that we can be doing uh, a little bit more content and be a little more easy for me with the stairs and everything else. So um, be looking for that. That'll be coming in the next month or so, possibly by June, July. I'll have that all done. I'll move around and everything else. Um, I am going to miss my son. I do miss him already. I mean, he's only been gone since yesterday. He just moved out, but it was such a whirlwind of a day. We really didn't get to spend much time together. Um, but he did come up and play some video games with his brothers until everybody showed up and stuff. So it was, it was, um, kind of hard, but you know what? I think this is the best thing for him. He's a grown up now. <laughs> so time to grow up. Um, <laughs> But anyways, guys, um, so there, that's all I have. Um, that's all I have for you. Um, I do want to say there is quite a few channels that I think you guys definitely need to go check out. I am going to leave the links to their description, uh, the, the links to their channels in my description. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, you guys should definitely go check them out. These guys are awesome channels. They are awesome supporters. They have known me from the beginning when I started YouTube so and I'm sorry if I forget a few people I do apologize but I have so many I'm almost at 2,000 I think I'm very close to 1,800 I'm not sure um, very close as far as I know um, so anyways guys the channels I want to mention is uh, Papa Lucha uh, I had the honor of being on his live yesterday with him we were talking about wrestling which is a huge thing for me because I absolutely I love sports I love wrestling um, and I always have ever since I was a kid it's just you know killer Kowalski 
uh, Coco Beware coming out with that parrot, Hercules with the chain around his neck, um, Ricky Steamboat, uh, Earthquake, Typhoon, uh, Macho Man, like all of those guys, uh, Adrian Adonis, uh, Dusty Rhodes, you know, seeing him come out, Scary Sherry, um, or Sensational, Alundra Blaze, Fabulous Mula, like all these guys are ones that I grew up with. Um, I feel so old now mentioning all of this, but anyways, um, but yeah, so definitely go follow him. He does Funko Pop stuff and he, um, he does live like wrestling. He makes YouTubers into wrestlers and we have matches and it's so much fun being in one of his lives. Um, his wife also, Jenny Aponte, um, go and follow her. She's just an awesome lady. She's always in every one of my quizzes and everything else. And she does Funko Pop and stuff like that as well. And she has quizzes that she does as well. Um, the next person I want to mention is, um, Flawless Ash DIY. Um, she is such a sweetheart. She's got such a soft, gentle voice. She's so cute on her lives. She does DIY. She does all sorts of stuff. She does quizzes as well. Um, she's such a sweetheart. She's always making comments and always there. Um, so definitely go and check her out. Um, the next one that I want to talk about is Michelle's Coloring Corner. I think it's called now. I'm not sure she's changed it a couple times. But she actually colors live and she is such a great artist. Um, she knows how to shade. She draws great pictures. She just, she's really, really into detail and everything else. So go and check her out. Um, another one is, uh, Louisa Lewis. Um, she is in every one of my lives. She has never, the, uh, like been not there. I think she missed a couple, but she's every one of my comments. You'll always see Louisa Lewis in my comments. She is such an awesome lady and she definitely needs the support. So go and check her out. Um, there are so many more. Hungry Trophy Trooper, uh, Relentless Attraction or Inquisitive Moments, uh, Barry's Views, um, uh, Not Suitable for Mom, Jason, Jimmy Barnes, Rachel. Like all these people are such awesome, awesome channels. Guys, I will leave the script, uh, their, their links in my description. And actually, I might include like channel screenshots of their channels at the end of this video for you guys to go check out so anyways this has gone on a little bit longer than I hope but I wanted you guys to know that you know things are going good and I appreciate each and every one of you God bless each and every one of you for all the support you've given me and being there and I hope that I can do the same for you and continue to do the same for each and every one of you God bless bye everyone <laughs>